What's up guys, Void here from View the Void and today we have another tech video and in today's video we're going to be discussing the application that I use to uh, remote into my computer when I'm not at home to check on the progress of my character. So if you see here, I have my uh, account running, farming, and let's say I wanted to go to the gym or just hang out with some friends and leave my account farming. Um, I'll leave it up on my computer and then I will download this application called Chrome Remote Desktop. Uh, just a disclaimer, make sure that you have Google Chrome downloaded if you don't already for the browser, and then make sure that you log into your Google account um, in this icon up here in the upper right hand corner. I'll leave a link for this in the description, but once you type in Chrome Remote Desktop, you go to the uh, Chrome Web Store, and it's a free application. If you don't have it downloaded already, you just click this button up here. It'll say Add Application or something along those lines, and if you already have it like I do, it'll just say Launch Application. Uh, so pause the video, download it, and then as soon as you um, have it downloaded, you can click launch and you'll get a screen like this, either full screen or a smaller window, which is okay. Uh, and the first thing you're going to want to do, actually, let me, let me explain this first. If you wanted to share with somebody else on a computer, uh, let's say somebody else has a computer and you have a tech problem and you want somebody to be able to remote into your computer, you can press uh, share and then it will generate you an access code. You give this code to whoever you're wanting to get into your computer, they enter it and then they can come into your computer and uh, click things, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you wanted to help somebody else, this is, you know, that's to share your code so somebody can access your computer. Access here is you click this and then you type in the code that somebody else gives you so you can connect to their computer. And uh, they can end it at any time and you can also end the connection at any time. So don't, you know, be freaked out if, uh, you feel like somebody's going to have full control of your computer. That's not the case. Um, but here's what we want to look at. If you click enable remote connections and make up a pin, I'm just going to do one, 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 one actually needs to be six. So we're going to do six ones and just press. Okay. A screen will come up to say, press yes or no. And I press yes. And then uh, it'll say remote connections for this computer have been enabled. Sometimes like this, it'll be blanked out. If yours isn't blanked out and it says, you know, your computer name and it's online, then you're good. But sometimes it does this thing where it just blanks it out. And all you have to do to fix it is click disable remote connections and then enable it again. And I'll just do it one more time. Same pin, same everything. It doesn't matter. And then look, this time it was successful. And uh, now my computer is online. Okay, so now uh, we're ready to actually demonstrate what it looks like. So first, what you have to do is go onto whatever app store you have, uh, whether again, you're on iOS device or an Android device, go to the app store, download the same application, Chrome Remote Desktop, and it will give you um, an app. Once you turn on the app, it'll ask you to sign into the same Google account. It's important that you use the same Google account to sign in. And then um, once you have that up and running, I'll go ahead and pull, uh, put the phone up on the screen here so you can see what it looks like. And in the upper middle, I have the Chrome remote desktop icon. So I click it and it'll ask uh, which computer you want to remote into. And let's go ahead and close out of this here. And there it is. And once you click it, it'll say connecting. And then voila, you have uh, a perfect view of your screen at, on, at home. And all you have to do to, uh, to manipulate this is to use your fingers to pinch in and out. In and out will, of course, zoom it. And if you wanted to uh, make any adjustments, you can just press on the screen. So let's say I wanted to go to my bags. I click my bag. I can tap on all of the different tabs here. If I wanted to make any kind of adjustments. And um, let's say I actually wanted to move uh, because you can do up and down scrolling with two fingers. So if I, if I had my fingers here and uh, I wanted to scroll down, I would take two fingers and tap it and then scroll them up. And that's how you can scroll up and down if you ever needed to do that. But to go side to side, it's a little bit different. Um, what you have to do is if you press and hold, you'll see a tap indicator come up and then you can actually move around on the screen like so. And so if you tap and hold, that's basically the same thing as the mouse uh, clicking and dragging. So if you're ever in a situation where you would go to, uh, let's say a dungeon here and you need to scroll to the right, you press and hold and then you can go ahead and drag and swipe all the way to wherever you need to go. And it, it doesn't look perfect on the phone, but it's 
That's, this is exactly what you need if you need to check and make sure that your character is farming. Uh, you know, if you die, you can revive them and basically just do, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> so yeah, there it is, uh, Chrome Remote Desktop. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I hope this was helpful. If you did like it, please remember to like and share with your friends and subscribe. Do it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.